Hi everybody, my name's Lee. Welcome to my Tiger tutorial. Now, tigers are one of the most asked for designs in the face painting community. Whether it's at parties or at fast paced events, you will need to know how to do a fast tiger. So today I'm going to be introducing a cake that I've designed. We call them cakes. I don't know whether if you're not a face painter, then the, we call these cakes or split cakes. And we have paint that's designed to make our job really easy. And so if you're going to be painting tigers, this is one that I particularly designed to make tigers, foxes, um, if you've got to do a red mask or an orange mask or anything that requires like a half flaming skull or something like that, you can actually use this cake. It's very pretty. I'll take the lid off it so that you can have a look at it. Now I use this one. You can use it with a brush, but particularly it's designed to be used with, um, with a petal sponge. And so I use the fusion petal sponge, which sort of fits into the cake like this. There's a little bit left over so you can move it down the cake and I tend to load this way and then go in and pick up that end strong color because I don't want it to be too strong unless I'm doing like a red spider design. I can, you know, I can actually use this red and this orange um, to do lots of different designs as well. But I tend to sort of load from that side and then just pick up a little bit on the end. Now, the things that you'll need to do um, professional style face painting is you'll need a water spritzer because that's where we wet the water activated paints. Um, you'll need a, I've got a fusion white and uh, that's paraffin white and the pearl fairy white. I like to do uh, my tiger bases with a pearl white instead of a proper like flat white. Um, and I'm also using the fusion strong, fusion strong black. So uh, a couple of brushes that I'll be, I have a water container filled with some, uh, with some warm water. Um, because that helps activate the paint. And I'll be using these brushes today, which is a Leanne's Rainbow Petal Brush, a 5-8 um, Angle Brush. I've got, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, but it's um, a filbert brush that, uh, that I've designed. And then I've got Nat's um, number three round. So with that, so these are the tools that I'm going to be using. I've got my wa trusty water bottle. Um, and I've got my tiger split cake. So I will start painting a tiger. So firstly, I wanna lay down this um, pearl white base. I take my spritzer bottle, give it a couple of spritzers, and then I take my sponge and just rub that nicely into the paint. You want to wait, it'll dry up pretty quickly and you don't want your sponges too wet, all right, or your brushes. Uh, because your paint runs. So see, you've got a little like nice coverage, but I can still see the sponge under there. I want a little bit more. So I just re-spritz and I'll just go back in and work that again and just work right into the, don't be shy with it because you know, you've got lots of kids to paint. And so, so you can see now that that's, um, that's loaded pretty well. Now the tiger, I'll just put He's in the white. I'm just going to put some ears. I need it to be really fast. So I'm sort of going to try and paint this in real time and actually have a conversation. I don't normally go around the mouth so much. Um, you could, but I tend to try to keep all my designs up here just in case the kids are eating and things. So you just want to pop a tiny little bit, balance it just above your eyebrow, all right? Use that as a bit of an anchor point. And I'm just going to lighten that up tiny, a tiny bit. I actually could probably use just the split cake, but I want to, um, I should just use the split cake, but anyway, because it's got a, a pearl white through it. But I'm just going to lighten that up and it actually helps me blend the cake a little bit. So I'm just going to take that under the eyes, under here, and adjust a little bit up like that. So you can see there. It's not too much, it's really fast. And this petal sponge is, is nice and little and I can see what I'm doing. So now I have a shiny nose. So from this, I actually could have done like a quick fox design as well. You could turn that really easily into a fox. But I do wanna do a tiger today. Should do a fox then I could turn it into a tiger. But 
Anyway, I um, am going to use the other side of the sponge. So this is the Leanne's Flaming Tiger, as I mentioned before. And just to load that, I'm just gonna spritz that a couple of times. Um, I don't want it running too much. You can see that it runs a little bit at the bottom, but that's okay, it's not. So I don't, I'm just gonna turn so you can have a look at. I'm loading from the yellow all the way down here. And I'm just taking that little bit up to the edge there. And it doesn't matter if this blends, so there's no colours that are going to get muddy if you blend into each other. Probably could have used this fresh sponge because look at my fingers now. Just next time get a fresh sponge, but I'm not a particularly neat face painter. So anyway, so I'm just loading that really well. And have a look at that sponge. It's got a nice little bit of coverage, but I can still see some little dots in there. And this happens pretty quickly. Once you get used to doing this, it is, it's really fast. So I'm just going to reload that, making sure that I'm loading that other edge as well, because I want to make sure that I've got everything. And I'm picking up just that little bit of red, because that's, that's going to edge my tiger. Again, I'm just going to do that one more, because I do want quite a good coverage and I want to do the whole tiger with just one one loaded I don't want to have to go back into this cake so that is your fully loaded sponge now I am going to go in it's quite difficult to paint so use this end of this sponge see this curved corner I'm patting I'm holding it away from away from my face and I'm just patting in the shape of the tiger, all right? So just around here, just that, that I find like that's the hardest part is that, that little, um, that little part here just to get that even. So I'm just putting in my ears and there you go. I that, see it's, it's picking up all of that and I'm just putting in my ears here. I really didn't need to put that white under there. And it is quite difficult. So now I'm just going to go in and do my tiger here. That white's actually probably not good up there because it's lightened that red a little bit too much. That's okay. We can just blend that down and I can get my shape and pat it all out, pat it down my nose. And then I flip my sponge and I can get a little bit more. Just get a bit of light there and then flip it back again and okay we've got most of the tiger in there now i want to take that over the eyes i'm just going to pat it on like an eye makeup just pat 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 look at that it's really fast and so you're using that sponge using that sponge to get your shape in so i can press down a little bit there and get some of that red in if i like that looks pretty nice um it's always good a lot of good fun to experiment on the job with designs that's a little bit patchy, so I'm just going over that. And then I want to take, oh, I don't know what I did there. But anyway, look, we've just got to learn to fix mistakes. So I just want to bring the tiger out here and I just want to take it to my, to my, um, I'm just coming around the eyes and then I'm just coming around my cheekbone, right? It's actually not even that much paint. So again, if I did a different, if I did pointy ears, I could really easily turn this into a fox with a little bit more white on the outside there. So you can see that I'm just coming up there. And I've got a nice coverage on. I can. That. I'm just going to pinch this around because I want a little bit more of that lighter yellow up here. So I'm just pinching it around. So just for the inside of the tiger's ears. That. It's very cute. I really didn't need that white actually, just looking at it. So I've managed to, I'm just patting around and, and quite frankly, it's painting backwards. So it is a little bit harder. Um, I'm just gonna come down to my nose, I think with that. And I'm pulling my brush. See that is away from here because I wanna just make that really predominant, that red here around the edge. Now, this video is taking, like it's already 10 minutes, but that's because I'm talking. Um, you could do this quite fast. So that's a that's your base there. Uh, just bring that down there. So it's, in the ears are sitting behind the 
is the sitting behind the design. So your ears are sitting back. You've got your color on, your orange, and a little bit of color there. So all I have to do now, this is where all of the sort of magic starts, where you can um, fill in those details and turn it into a tiger. So, um, I'm not a fan of, so, <laughs> no, it's really hard to paint your nose backwards. <laughs> And I'm just going to do that. I'm just gonna sort of going around the nostril a little bit. I'm painting into my phone, so I... <laughs> That's so crooked. It's actually hysterical. But anyway. My daughter would prefer to cross at me. She's going, Mommy, why can't you paint straight? And I'm like, well, I can if I'm standing up in front of people. So I've got my nose. And now there's a couple, of, I could use this as a, um, so I can, you can either do a straight line or if you have time, do that, like get a little bit of, you know, just sort of like, like it's hair. You don't really have to do that. You can just line them straight round and that's how I normally do it. But I guess here, here I'm just doing so that, and then I just pull that back in and around like that. And that gives you your tiger ears. See, I've just done like a little semicircle and just come down. And I like to bring it back in, like it's like doing a little circle. Now, I don't do a whole heap of, I don't do a lot of lines for my tigers. I so I could do the lines with this but sometimes I do them with a petal brush which is a really interesting way to do them because it has a thinner edge at the top and it gets thicker you can do your really nice thick to thin lines now I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this backwards but I will try so I start on an angle turn my brush start on an angle and I'm coming out from here a thin line I push it sideways and then I lift and pull it in. So that's, so again, sideways, sideways down and just really thin. I twist and I push and there you go. I take it up like that. That's one line in and then in real time, I'm just pretty fast. And then I want to do the one that I, like that. How fun is this? doesn't matter even if they're not neat, right? That's pretty cool. And then I want to do a couple in the in the center up here. I can sometimes, I just sometimes come a little bit further. Again, that's how I'm doing there. And I'm just going sideways, push, turn, and then come back down. And then it doesn't matter if it's a bit it's a bit neat, but I can do that in, actually, you know, what you can do is this is really good. This brush here that could have done that as well. Um, I might, sometimes I muck it up a little bit cause it's a little bit harder to do, but if you are getting your black and just make sure you're pushing that into a tip. Uh, sometimes if you want to, I think, don't know if I'm going to do it with that cause it's a little bit thick and it's got, I might mess up, especially because I'm just going around my eyes. So I want to do a, I want to do a, uh, that, and I want to come round from under the nose. So I'm just doing this and I'm following, see this bone here, I'm coming down from in here because that would join up to the nose. Imagine it's joining, but you're not really joining it because you want need it to be far. So from the other side and coming up. So they're not quite even, but it would be, I oh, now I need to thicken this one up. That one was a really good one too. Anyway, they've got to be matching. So you should always, they say, uh, a tip is they always say to paint the side that you're not comfortable with first then because you can match that into the other one. Um, I reckon that's, if you had a white muzzle, if I had a muzzle on here, I might just put a muzzle in 
just in case you want to see one. Um, I'm just going to go in, back into my pearl white. And so if I had a muzzle here, you don't, it don't come out all the way, but you can, you know, join that up, which is really, I don't know. I just find it's easier if I don't paint all the way up around their mouth and stuff. It's less chance that they're going to mess it up. So I'm about to come right down to my lips. But see how the pearl white is quite a pretty white, and even doing that actually lifted, lifted that design. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lighten up just inside the corner of my eyes there, and that's and that's just because I'm being, I'm having fun now. Oh my gosh, I made that that line, but that's all right, I can fix that. Anyway, it's not face paint lessons; it's comic relief with Lee watching her mess up. So I'm just going back in here, just quietly. I painted this really cool tiger on my arm with it. I just love it so much. So with here, you're just going to come from the edges of the mouth and see you've got these normal, like these lines. You want to use the face. This is going so hard backwards. That. But use those natural lines and then that way you can't go too wrong. And then all you've got to do is press down. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny being a tiger. I love it. Anyway, this is actually what I'm like really like. So if anyone sees this. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to come in with a couple little lines here. Oh, I'm really loving this. Anyway, I haven't. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. And I'm just going to do a few dots. I fix my nose. It's not a great nose. It's probably little. We need something littler. Um, I'm going to just do some eyeliner here. That's just because it's only, you wouldn't do this on the job, but I just want to, I just want to finish off the design. Oh, that's pretty. It's so pretty. I love to play with paint. I'm psychotic. I just want to bring that down a little bit there. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. So I really love that I didn't mess up that. I messed up that those lines. So they're a little bit thick. I can probably see this is what happens. You try to fix things, right? So I'm going to balance it because my ears are not. My ears are not thick enough and it's making those eyes look not great. So if I balance it by making my lines thicker up top, this is how to fix your face paint with Lee when you're doing a tiger. So I want to now maybe bring those lines. I'm just going to do darker lines that might wreck it, but might not. We don't know. We don't know, and it's just face paint, so it washes off. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, that's pretty good, huh? I'm happy with that, considering I painted backwards. And while I was talking, but you, and this is a 20 minute video, but I honestly could do that in about a minute and a half. You just really fast load that paint, um, put down a little bit of, bit of white and then doing some quick lines and then you're done. And so, wow, I love it so much. I hope that you like this tutorial. I hope that you like my new, my new um, flaming tiger cake. It's seriously awesome. Um, that's by Fusion Body Art and my name's Leanne Courtney and I design Leanne's collection. Hope you love the video today and I'm super happy to say hello to all of you and wow. <laughs>